we've been stir crazy. It's been three weeks since we've been away in the van. Three weeks. Three weeks, and we're going to Drayton Manor. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, so you need to go right round because right it's a round. long way. Yes. Yeah. She offered us a couple of pitches, but we're going to go over there. Okay. Um, this was covered in snow this morning. Yeah. There's a picture on Facebook of it absolutely white over. Yeah, that was one of the ones that she offered us. Yeah. But, uh, You've decided to go round here. Yeah, down, yeah, keep going. Down, don't go down the first one, down the second one. Down the one. last one. Yeah. What was the difference then? Why did you pick this one? That, that one was a, this one's a little bit flatter. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, that look the, where the lady is now. Where the lady is. We can go in or oh. we can reverse in whichever way we want to. Oh, well, we're going forwards then. Get ready for the big orange thing. What on earth's that? Good morning! Hello, morning! <laughs> so it's the 11th of March 2023 um, and we arrived last night at Drayton Mar Manor. Mara? Mara. <laughs> Drayton... for, the, for the vegetable competition. <laughs> Drayton Manor Camping and Caravanning Club. Rick will put some footage in showing our arrival um, yesterday evening. Now Drayton Manor is a um, uh, it's a camping and caravan club club site. Yeah, proper <laughs> proper site. Yeah. Um, uh, and we, um, for those of you that don't know, Drayton Manor is a theme park, um, and um, it's near Tamworth in the Midlands. Poor man's Alton Towers. It's an, although you can't be a poor man to go in, but there you go. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, so we. Um, it's, so it's only about half an hour away from home, so it was great arriving in the daylight last night. What I'll do later on in the video, I'll do a little bit of a site tour. Yeah, we'll we'll uh, tell you more about what what's around the site then. We're just going on a walk this morning. There's a canal really close by. Uh, it's about three miles? Yes. Yeah, about three miles along the canal. Um, you say there's a tea room at a uh, yeah. bird sanctuary or something? Yeah, RS. RSPB. Um, so shock horror we're not going to the pub main road there turn right out of the site and walk along the road maybe a quarter of a mile you'll meet the canal and this funky looking bridge which we're about to go over this unusual gothic style footbridge was built in the 1830s by the celebrated architect sir robert smirk while constructing the nearby drayton manor home of local mp sir robert peel later to become prime minister the manor house was demolished in, eight, in 1929 and later became the site of Drayton Manor theme park. Never knew that. So if you want to come to the um, RSPB place at Middleton Fields or something it's called. <laughs> um, Research. Middleton something. <laughs> um, you need to come as far as the Fishers Mill Bridge and then we're going over the top of it. Going over the top. Middleton Lakes. We're here. Yeah. And you can go either into the lakes all the way over there. Poo Stick Bridge. Um, yeah, that's good, that way. I know, but I was just going to make a joke about poo. That's been the row walking along some sort of... They're not seagulls, I don't know what they are. Strange looking birds. My knowledge of birds stops at page three.
Right, so as we're about halfway through the walk, I thought I'd use this natural pause to sort of let you know of an idea I've had. What we're going to try and do, since we've stopped doing the collaboration video uh, with the other channels we used to do, we've got a little bit of a gap in the schedule. And what I'm going to try is the first Friday of every month, I'm going to do a compilation video, just a short one, of what we've been up to during the previous month. So you could call it there'll be some bonus footage or not bonus depending <laughs> depending on how it goes of you'll see stuff how that, it goes and and opinion yeah well, exactly <laughs> you'll see stuff that's coming up um that mm -hmm. as we've said before we release two or three weeks you know behind schedule if you like so you're seeing this one on the 3rd of april mm, i think, think so. monday the 3rd of april i think you'll see this um, but for us, as we say, it's the 11th of March. So this Friday coming up, I'm going to do a, a, an amalgamation of what we've been up to through the whole of March. And of course, some of the March stuff is still yet to come for you. It might not work, but <laughs> I'm going to try it. And they're only going to be short. It's just if you can't dip in and out of all the videos, you know, we appreciate we don't watch all of our videos that we subscribe to channels because you just haven't got the time. But what it might do is it might whet your appetite for one that you've missed and think, I'll have a look at that. Who knows? It's just something I'm thinking of. Anyway, <laughs> I'll also use this natural pause to say, don't forget there is a Facebook group which we've got and uh, you can find it looking for this. I'm going to put a, a picture of the Facebook screen above. What did I, we say there was 45? in the last week yeah 45 new members last week for us which was crazy um, but that's because I've now started doing these call outs in a video rather than just yeah. leaving a little graphic and obviously so, we've had quite a lot of yeah we've had quite a lot of new subscribers recently due to the the uh, ongoing yeah the anticipation <laughs> of the new van which we'll also bring you news of I think that's gonna be after this video yeah, yeah I think said, you said April. I think the next video after this will tell you what van we've gone for um, so stay tuned for that anyway back to the action <laughs> action there's another plane coming as well now the plane boss the plane you won't see this because my camera is really bad <laughs> but yeah you're quite is it birmingham airport yeah yeah uh, birmingham airport so it's we get over there is over that way where they're taking off from look <laughs> you can't see it it's such a We've had this camera since we started, and we still not bought a new not one. Not since we started. Well, you do it on your phone. it's been two and a bit years since we've had it, but it served us well. It has. We've had a money's worth. Keeps working, so we keep doing it. Right. So as you come out of the uh, nature reserve, which is just that way, where I've just sat down and told you all the nonsense, Middleton Hall is right next to it. It's got this lovely moat going round, mm -hmm. and this is where Heather says there's a little courtyard with a tea room and such like um, which we'll go and get a a bit of a drink and have a rest and then we'll head back and see what's going on I expect it's heaving in the um, in the summer look at that that's a little go on they um, hire these out for weddings and that sort of thing don't well. get any ideas no I'm not no. It's why not a leap year, to, is why it? Why would I want to marry you? Well, <laughs> who knows? Anyway, <laughs> burn. <laughs> in there. Yeah. Yeah, you see that? There's where we are. There's Tamworth. There's Kingsbury, where we were just before Christmas. Yeah. Oh, um, well, there's the water park there, look. Yeah. So we're not far away from there. No. And this, this is the canal that we've been walking along. Yeah, and then there's, there's, the airport. there's the airport, yeah. So we are quite lucky that we're we're very close to a few sites from home mm -hmm. where we don't have to travel a lot. But yeah, look at that old, lovely old building. Uh, we'll go and have a look in there. As I say, you can see on the sign here, um, coffee shop, drinks, studios, etc. Have a quick look around here. The, the toilets are in there, yeah, the Tudor barn. There we go, just a little courtyard look. 
That's nice. Admit it, you thought that was mine, didn't you? No. Here's the childish one. Not childish. I wouldn't recommend children have this. It's <laughs> no. hot for a start. <laughs> What, the ice cream? Well, no, it's cream, it's not ice cream. Well, whatever. There's a chocolate brownie as well, which I'm allowed half of, apparently. Right, so, although we walked through it on the way to the hall, this is actually the main entrance into to the lakes. And um, you have got a little car park and a courtyard up here with a little shop. So, it would be quite... Quite a nice day out really here. Yeah. It's quite a quite a decent walk from the campsite. Yeah, so here's the little the little snack hut. It's got ice creams and drinks and stuff. So we'll take you back through the reserve and we'll have a walk back to the site. What's the rats? What else are they? I don't, know. don't they have rats in Spain, or did Franco have them all shot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, making my skin crawl now. Look at that by the ducks, loads of rats. That's disgraceful. Oh, it's not disgraceful, it's natural. Oh, they make me. I hate. I, I sort of expected them to be thinner than that, like long thin. Oh, no, well, they, what else? They're not voles or anything, they're too big, aren't they? Oh, yeah, voles are tiny. Oh, I want to go home. <laughs> I don't like mice, guinea pigs or anything like that. I do quite enjoy walking along the canal. It's nice and flat, easy walking. It is a bit dodgy after all this snow. It's very, very slippery though. Um, but yeah, we'll pick you up later. Uh, we'll get back to the van. We'll do a little walk around the site after lunch. So we were saying off camera that we've been to a nature reserve and the whole thing with our channel is we always see a swan and my famous catchphrase pinch from hot fuzz which is just the one swan actually and we're walking along the canal on the way back i don't know if you'll see it again camera's not brilliant there are two swans in a field of uh, what looks like kale or something just sat there so yeah we have sixty. <laughs> heather spotted them we have successfully seen the swans for this video. I thank you, I thank you. Okay, so this is the entrance to Drayton Manor. We came from that way last night and um, that's the way that we've just been to walk along the canal. So just up there by that house, cross the road and the canal's there. That way over there will obviously take you into Faisley where all the shops are, chip shops, pubs, etc. Um, and then obviously you've seen us drive in here. Right, so when you come into the entrance of Drayton Manor itself, there are signs all the way along telling you how to get to the campsite. As you approach then, stay on the left hand side and keep following the signs for the campsite. So as we say, keep left. Um, you did see this on the intro, if you watch the intro. I'm just repeating myself if you've clicked through to the chapters to just see the campsite itself. So you can see just in front of the Drayton Manor Hotel, there's another sign telling you to keep going this way. It is really well signposted. It does seem a bit strange as you're driving along, heading for the theme park, but you can see it tells you to go left here. And even on the floor, it's painted campsite. And then it's just straight along this road. And again, another sign turn left and here's the actual approach to the site see you've got all visitors and new arrivals pull over and stop on the left hand side report to reception 
the motorhome service point is just to your left. Um, obviously, all your water point and your emptying point, and then you've got your recycle and your bins there. Reception straight in front. There's a bit of an information post there. In fact, that's where we've been today with some takeaway menus and stuff. Right then, so this is us. We're on pitch 30. Um, hard standing with electric. It's um, March the 10th and the 11th were the nights we booked. So two nights, still in winter officially. Um, £52.80 with electric. Um, but yeah, the site itself, I drove around it yesterday, if you watched on the intro, it is quite literally a circle with all the hard standing pitches on the outside and in to the edges and in the middle there. And then you've got loads of grass pitches, which obviously it's really boggy underfoot down to the fact that that van there that's cleaning the huts has actually got stuck in the mud. So yeah. And then we've got the children's play area there and then the facilities block over there. Um, I will walk up to these huts, but they are the standard ready camp things that you see on most of the sites. There's not really a great deal of point of me walking around the whole of the site. You can see there are six of the huts. Great deal of grass pitches and then you've obviously got another water point up there or fire point in the middle. There's a few dotted about the site but as I say no point in me walking round in a circle. You'll have seen that on the intro. I will actually show you round the uh, facilities block and insert some footage of the gents showers and toilets in the corner of this video. I don't tend to film directly in there. There's really no need. They're clean and tidy and as you'd expect really. To the left there's a telephone. Ladies. Um, then where it says Pooh Corner, that's the Elson. There's an information and laundry and I'll go and have a look in there in a minute. Gents obviously in there which I'll have inserted. And then your dishwashing point is just here. Obviously there we go. Um, and that's it, like I say, play park, water points. There we go, so some leaflets, a defibrillator, and a, a bit of a book and DVD exchange. And then a couple of sinks in here. These are more for hand washing, don't wash your dishes in here. And then you've got the dryer and the washing machine there and an iron. So just in front of the kids park, is the dog walk area. Um, be aware, the one warden had a word with me this morning. Um, I don't know if any of you lot do this, but when you've got up in the morning, sometimes you just want to stand by the side of your van and let the dog have a wee, which I thought was perfectly fine on my pitch, till he told me off and said, you've got to exercise your dog in the dog walk area. Well, I said, well, I'm not exercising the dog, she just needs a wee. And he got a bit sniffy. I can understand that, but I didn't point it out. But if you're up there at the very top of the pitch, are you gonna get your dog to not have a wee or a poo by the time you get to here? My answer is no, you're not. So I think the bloke was being a bit sniffy, if I'm honest. Um, but there you go. Um, and there's my case in point. There's a bloke walking his dog back to his van. Perfectly okay. But what if the dog wants to do something on its way back? You know. Anyway, I'm grumpy, you know that. But you can understand my point. And we've ended up coming to the uh, ready camps anyway, on our way back to the van. So yeah, that's my quick look around the site. You probably won't hear anything else off us now until we depart in the morning. Um, it's now Saturday afternoon. We're going to sit in the van and just chill out. Heather's going to watch the rugby. I'll probably fall asleep. And uh, we'll probably pick you up in the morning as we're driving home. As I say, early departure here. Got to go by 10. Suits us anyway. Um, yeah. Catch you later. So we're just leaving Drayton Manor. It's quite a strange way of getting out. You've got to go out half of the way you came in. 
just going to stop at the motorhome service point and drop the water and then we'll be away so yeah as i said on my site tour yesterday you can see there is another drinking point there and then there's some, another one further up the top as you know i didn't walk all the way around the site but you can get the the gist of it from this so yeah you come in on the outside ring and go out on the inside center one right we're away um, that was it then really yep our first um full paid club site for over a year still 52 quid is i nearly said something then. <laughs> it's it's on your limit really in it these days of what you know i had a, I had a rule years ago not even that long ago when i had my t5 so maybe five years ago 20 quid a lot 20 quid a night was my limit and i weren't paying no more than that even with hookup and it's gone crazy now 30 and 40 quid a night seems to be the norm it's mental mm -hmm. anyway it is what we do and that's that so anything else to say before we wrap it up before we get on the main road no okay i don't think so so like we... say, nice enough site nice places to walk to yeah well, i think we'll come back but we'll probably come back on the da weekend again yeah there's there's a couple of them do um you know the da's so. right we're going um see you on the next one we're at home next weekend but then we're away again for quite a few weeks i think aren't we so yes um waiters Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.